Hello and welcome to the Reapers. Today we're in our SU-25T and we're looking at laser guided missiles. Before we get started I should say to arm these up we need to have our canopy open and our engines off and spooled down. So let's open up the armament screen. So there are three types of missiles that we're interesting, uh, interested in today. Two of them are laser designated missiles. One of them is a laser beam riding missile. Generally they work the same in terms of targeting and weapon deployment but there's a small difference which we'll look at when we're firing them. So first, the missile that can only be used on Pylon 5 and 7, I believe, is a missile, and it's a KH-29L for laser, and they're absolutely whopping missiles, usually for taking out bunkers, command centers, ships, stuff like that. You wouldn't usually shoot a tank with them or something like that. Next is the Vickers. These are the beam-riding missiles. So we're going to look for missiles. We've got Vickers there. Each pod here carries eight of them, so this is what you're going to use for taking out armoured vehicles and stuff like that. On pylons 3 and 9 we're going to go with the KH-25ML, I guess you'd call it a kind of medium range laser designated missile and um, I think I might have forgot to mention earlier but there's another one now we've got available, the missiles, the S-25L. So let's arm that up. While that's going uh, let's take the opportunity to have a look at our controls and there are going to be quite a few. So fire weapon to fire the weapon target lock to lock onto the ground terrain with the shvar to, uh, to move our cursor about target designated up left down right to air to ground mode air to ground mode to turn the shvar on that to turn the laser on that to zoom the shvar in that and zoom out to change the target base size increase and decrease and that I believe is all we're going to be using today. So the system we're going to be using for targeting the system we're going to be using for targeting today is the Schwal. If I look at the front of the aircraft, you can see there's essentially a, a camera, a TV camera in the middle in there that can swivel on a gimbal, um, and it will be displayed on this screen here. Now take note up; uh, it only works in the daytime. If we were doing a night mission, we'd use the Mercury Pod, which can be equipped to the centre of the aircraft and it will be used essentially exactly the same with the same symbology. The only difference would be that instead of using this command here to turn it on and off, we'll be using this command here to turn it on and off. Uh, the laser weapons do work at night. Okay, we're armed up now with some pretty formidable stuff, so let's get the birds started up, find a target. Okay, we're airborne and we've identified a target off our nose, our usual row of uh, armoured vehicles that we've got down here. So the first thing we do is uh, turn it to air to ground mode and choose our weapon. So air to ground mode and we'll go with the uh, 29L. Okay, it's 29L. We can see the weapon type there. The weapons pylons used there. The weapons pylon used there and the weapon type there. Okay, so next we want to turn on our shkval. So let's do that. You can see we've got a TV camera. Basically, that's the display there. First thing we're going to do is take where our shkval is pointed there. Uh, this circle here and, and locate it roughly on the tanks there by maneuvering our aircraft and then do a ground target lock. We can also tell the Schwal is activated because we've got TV on here. So zoom in and try and get that. Pow. Stop. Uh, now we're going to look at the Schwal here. So by a whole bunch of symbology we need to look at. This, this camera, the Schwal, can slew left, right, up and down. Here it displays the, the schlue to the left or right, it's in the centre at the moment. If it went off to the left or the right too much, it would break lock. The same with the elevation, it can go up a little bit and it can go down lots. Here is our aircraft pitch, currently minus 5 degrees. Here is our attitude, the, that wing there and that wing there of our aircraft, showing our roll and attitude. Um, here is our target designator box here and it is set at the size shown there. We can change that. Um, so what we're going to do is maneuver this box onto the target with our target designator keys and it will then attempt to lock up a target that you can see inside that box. And it will be looking for a target the size of what we've set here. So we've got 10 meters at the moment. We could set it, well I'll show you, we can change the size. So unpause, bigger or smaller with the buttons shown earlier. So we'd set it to what we thought these tanks were sized at and then hover over them. Here is the time of flight of the missile selected if we were to fire it now. Here is our altitude, um, barometric now, but it would be radio once we get below 1.5 kilometers, I think. Here is our mode. It's currently not selected to target. It's in free cursor mode as KC. So nothing to do now apart from lock the target up. 
So I'm just going to get myself level. I'm now going to zoom in. I'm now going to change my target size to about 8 or 9. Let's see if we can get a target lock. So I'm going to move her over a target. Mm, doesn't like that size. Let's try that. Try a bit bigger. This bit can be fiddly. It takes a lot of fiddling about to get a lock. Try this guy here. I'm now slewing off to the edge, so I've got to be a little bit careful. Come on, get a lock. Got it. Took a while. Sometimes it takes a while. It can be awkward at 8.4 kilometers away, so that's fine. Uh, so we know we've got a lock because we've got AC here, and we've got our um, blah, 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 our distance there, 8.4 kilometers. So, next we need to turn our laser on. Now, the one thing to remember about the laser is you can only have it on for about a minute before it overheats, at which point it will go on to a cooldown and you won't be able to use it. So, we're going to turn our laser on with the button we showed earlier. We know the laser's on because it's now got laser ranging on here and if we've got laser ranging on here. So, now we've got launch authority fire. Here is our weapon ranging bar. It's 10 kilometers there. That is the R max of the weapon. That is the R min of the weapon. So, as long as we are between these two bars which we are we're here then we will have the necessary range permission to fire we've got permission to fire here launch authority we're selecting this weapon here pile on one and it's ready to fire and that's all i've got to say about it really so let's uh, go and fire the missile rifle and why not just pump another one in there because we can okay i'm gonna get myself stable and then we will go and uh follow the missiles That's a lovely pair of shacks laser off and uh, we'll go around and do it again let's just show taking the shkval out of limits so if you look at the limit bars here i'm going to pass over it and we're going to uh, put them out of limit shortly and that will lose the lock boomy out of lock right so next i'm going to turn around get another 10 kilometers away and we'll go for another run Okay, we're in again, so this time we're going to use, we've got the S25Ls, which is short range, and the 20, uh, KH25MLs, which are medium range, so let's go with the KH25MLs, everything exactly the same, find the target, lock the terrain, zoom in, locate the target, require the lock, laser on. Wait for the ranging. And so one, and let's put a pair in there. Now it's important, because I didn't mention it earlier, we need to stay locked until the missiles, locked to this target until the missiles have impacted, because they are reliant on the laser to keep shining on that target until they've impacted, at which point we can turn away, select a new target, whatever we're going to do. Okay, I think that's both of them. Let's turn away now and use our S25s. Uh, laser off. The S25Ls are a short range missile. I don't know the exact kilometers, but we'll find out in a minute. Terrain lock. Lock acquired. Laser on. And a couple of laser rifles. Boom, boom. Uh, with this type of missile, I suggest not um, rippling several on several targets in one run. Basically, I, I prefer doing one run for every target. It doesn't like changing between targets on the same run, I've noticed. Right, let's go around again. Okay, let's turn in again. This time we're going to use the Vickers. Um, you can see that we've got the Vickers selected there and on these pylons. We're going to get a little bit of extra symbology this time, which we'll see. Where is that target? There he is. Difference about the Vickers is the other three missiles use the target and laser as a target designator only. This is a beam rider, so it rides all along the missile, I believe, uh, all along the laser. I believe it spins around the laser all the way until target. Right, so same as usual, let's lock up a target. 
I think we've got a guy there. Um, pretty much the same as previously. The only difference is we've got a Vickers um, uh, ranging circle, or aiming circle here, and we have to make sure that our target is inside that aiming circle. So if I were to move it out, you'll see that I lose launch authority. And if we get back in, we have solid launch authority and fire. See if we can get another one off. No, can't. Um, that's about it, really. Laser off, Schwal off. And so you've got loads there. You've got 16 of those Vickers to use. That's all I've got to say about that. I hope that helps and see you later.